So let's do question number 76. So P means greater than. So instead of P, we're going to replace it by greater than simple. Q means less than. And R means not greater than. That is a, a like, you know, the R means not greater than. The simple for that is you do like this. Or the best way to uh, approach this statement is not greater than means what? Less than or equal to. So instead of R, it is a good idea to replace it by less than or equal to. Okay. Similarly, S means not less than. So this is the symbol for not less than. And that, that means what? Not less than means greater than or equal to. So instead of this, you could easily replace it by greater than or equal to. And T means equal to. So we are clear with what these letters, which simple this letters represent, right? And we need to consider these two statements and find out which of the following statements are correct. So let's start the statement one. Okay. So statement one, it's saying that 2x, S means uh, greater than or equal to, so it's second, if 2x is greater than or equal to 3y and 3x, T means equal to, right? 3x is equal to 4z, then I need to check, is this correct or not? That is 9y greater than, P means greater than, 9y greater than 8z. So this is what I need to check, whether this is true or not. Is it correct or not? So I need to check from the statements given. Okay, I'm, I'm going to cross check whether this is true or not. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I need to, so the comparison is between Y and Z. So here, instead of X, I need to replace it by Z so that it is easy for you to compare. Okay, so what you can do is instead of X, you can replace it by 4 by 3 Z. So you replace it in this inequality. So instead of X, you are putting, let's say, you have uh, two times instead of x, it's going to be 4 by 3 z greater than or equal to 3 y. So I'm going to simplify it. So I'm going to multiply by 3 on both sides. If you're multiplying in inequality by positive value, the inequality will not change. The sign will not change. Okay. You have the freedom to multiply by any positive value. So I'm cancelling out 3 here and this is going to be 8z is greater than or equal to 9y. So I'm just flipping this around. So it's going to be 9y is less than or equal to 8z. So this is the conclusion you are getting. So from these statements uh, given, what we can uh, conclude is 9y will be less than or equal to 8z. But here it's saying that it's given that is 9y greater than 8z which is not correct. Okay, this is uh, false. So we could say statement one is not true. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to analyze statement two. Okay, statement two. So statement two says that x, if x, q, 2y, q means less than, okay, if x is less than 2y and y, r, z, R means less than or equal to, okay? So, Y less than or equal to Z. So, these are the facts given. Okay? If these two are true, I, what I need to check is, is X, R, Z. R means less than or equal to. I need to check whether X is less than or equal to Z or not. So, I need to check whether this is true or false. True or false. Or which is it correct or not? Okay. So this is the these two are the information given. I need to uh, work around this one and prove that this is true or false. So here the comparison is between x and z. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to you know uh, rearrange it in terms of x and I'm I'm trying to follow relationship between x and z. Okay. So you can see that x y then you have y y is common in both. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine these inequalities, okay? So you have x is less than 2y. So if you multiply, if you bring it to 2y, then you can also combine with z, right? So what I'm going to do that is you multiply by 2 on both sides, the inequality is not going to change. So now you have a common term here, 2y is common, so that you can easily combine two inequalities into a single one. So x is less than 2y, less than or equal to 2z. Okay, so this is a single inequality you got. There are three variables here. And now we need to compare with 
x and z so out of this if you pick x as well as z the conclusion that you can uh, bring here is x should be less than or equal to 2z so this is the conclusion we could get x is less than or equal to 2z based on the these two inequalities we could prove that okay x can be less than or equal to 2z but the question is saying is x less than z that we are not sure I could say that x is less than or equal to 2z, but we are not sure about whether x is less than z. So that means this is also not correct. So statement 2 is also not correct. So your answer is neither 1 nor 2. Option D is the right answer for this question. Because we are not able to prove that these two conclusions are true. So your answer is option D.